What's good, Mobile X gang, yo? I just wanted to like throw a quick snippet in there. I, I wanted to dedicate this video to all the people who are out there that are, uh, you know what I mean, going through uh, similar things. I, I, I bet by you looking at this video and watching it, and I hope that if it applies to you, that you can apply it to your life and make your life a whole lot better. And for me to you, I really sincerely hope that you can grab something from within this video and, and change something in your life, you know what I mean? And that's just real, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's continue the video. See you on the flip, all right? What's good, gang? Hey, today we're here. We're about to watch the um, six sacrifices modern men need to make all right i don't know what you consider a modern man but i'm just average and i know and i know you're average too you know what i'm saying but we want to jump into this we want to take a look at this and see what it is all right and uh <clears throat> shouts out to the creator for making this video we got um we train men fairly new channel so go subscribe. We're gonna jump right into it, y'all. Now for like, subscribe. Let's get it. Ready? I want you to look at any successful person and ask yourself how they got to where they are now. You might assume that it was just pure luck, or maybe they inherited it from someone else. In some most cases, of us think like that's true, but the more likely answer is that they forfeited a lot to get to that level of success. In this life, anything of real value is obtained through sacrifice. You have to offer something to the world to get what you want. You must work a day job to receive a paycheck. You must put an effort in school to get a good grade. And you must face rejection to find the girl of your dreams. That's true. The so finer things in life are obtained by overcoming the associated trials to obtain them. You can't sit in your bedroom and expect the life of your dreams to come to you. It's never gonna happen. So many of us Here's just sitting waiting for stuff life. to come to us. And it's not anything. coming. We gotta make the, the world first move ourselves. If you wanna be happy, fit, and successful, then you'll need to go after it yourself. As children, we're handed everything by our parents, but this doesn't last forever. At some point, you have to grow up and fend for yourself. You must become a man. This is an unavoidable part of being born male. The longer you put off this transformation, the harder and more depressing life gets for you. It's a natural evolution in your life, and you can't resist nature for long. Throughout history, mankind has created several rites of passage to guide boys into manhood. Today, I'll be showing you some sacrifices you'll make in modern society to become a man. Time. Time is arguably the most valuable resource in life. It's more valuable than cars, money, or even status. This is because time is something you can never get back once That's you so odd. This is about to say time ain't guaranteed, and that's why it's you number one. More time. Once it's gone, it's gone, and you can never get it back. That movie was Finally, crazy, by the way. Time should also be considered. You don't Type in the comments what that lived. movie was. It. How you choose to spend it is one of the important decisions you'll make in life. You're always choosing what to spend your time on each second of every day. It's a never-ending stream of decisions. The choice between going to a party working on your craft like i never have enough the difference between success that. and failure there is a need to weigh your options and spend time on things that are in your best interest getting drunk with friends and partying all the time is fun in the moment but it will leave you with nothing in the long run sure you can relax occasionally but you must do it in moderation it takes an extraordinary amount of time to truly become successful it could take upwards of five years to become successful in any given field there are no shortcuts to success, and anyone telling you otherwise is either lying to you or trying to sell you something. Comfort. In They're either lying to you or trying to sell you something. Just like a lot of y'all YouTubers out here. Y'all be sitting here selling these people dreams, man. Dreams, saying, hey, do this, do that. Oh, how to do this, or oh, how to do that. And these people be trying out these methods, bro, and they get nowhere. They get absolutely nowhere. At all, you know what I'm saying? You either gotta have a love for this and then it turned out for something, 
or like you listening to something and you're trying to do it for your own self up here and it just ain't working out because the source is incorrect, man. For real. Back to the video. Comfort. In modern society, we assume that we should always be comfortable and free from pain. The idea that we should avoid things that offend us or make us uncomfortable is prevalent among today's youth. Here's a harsh truth about being a man. You can't expect to be comfortable and happy all the time. You can't live life in constant bliss and relaxation. On your road to success, you'll encounter tough and stressful situations. You'll experience traumatic events that will force you to grow and evolve. However, if you try to avoid them or procrastinate, then you'll only be delaying the inevitable. Any attempt to minimize or hide away from the parts of your life that make you stressed and uncomfortable will only end in failure. To work early in the morning is uncomfortable. Going to the gym is uncomfortable. Taking the extra hours to improve yourself is uncomfortable. These actions may be uncomfortable, but engaging in them brings benefits and the discomfort is just the price you pay to obtain them. Take the simple act of lying in bed for an extra hour in the morning. It might be relaxing in the moment, but you're sacrificing the opportunities you could have had if you started your day before everyone else. Pleasures. These days, it seems like we have access to an endless amount of pleasurable activities. From social media to endless galleries of e-girls and Instagram models. I'm going to be very straightforward here. Indulging all of your base desires will get you nowhere. Playing video games, masturbation, and eating junk food might be fun in the moment, but it will do you no good in the long run. They will only serve to distract you and cloud your mind. If you're constantly pleasuring yourself, you'll never have the motivation to go out and meet an actual woman. Playing video games only gets you achievements mm. in the virtual world, That's crazy. and eating junk so food will only life. serve to make you fat and lazy. Pleasurable activities in our lives are fine when done in moderation, and get back but the problem arises when we do them in excess. Your brain is a very complex machine that will take the easiest option when available. If it's constantly receiving stimulation and pleasure from easy sources, then it will be difficult to generate the motivation necessary to go out and chase your dreams. Money. When you first enter the working world, you will be faced with the responsibility of paying your own bills. You'll have to get a job and start fending for yourself. As a young man, you may not have a lot of money to your name, but you have a responsibility to maximize the little that you have. You'll need to be able to go manage your money wisely and forgo luxuries for extended periods of time. You can't spend $500 on a new video game console when you're in debt. You must use what you have wisely and understand that each dollar matters. This is especially true if you run a business. Mm. Mismanaging funds and capital will only lead you to ruin. You'll have to learn how to keep account of things, learn how to pay taxes, and how to budget. At this point, the money you earn must be put towards making sure that your business succeeds. You can't afford to go to the club and waste money on drinks. You have to find ways to how invest many of us and do build the life you want from everybody. the ground up. Effort. I want to ask you a question. How much effort do you think it takes to get the body of your dreams? Would it take one day of extreme effort or several with little effort? Well, if your answer was either one of those options, then you'd be wrong. It takes several days of hard work, sweat, and tears to get that six pack. There are no shortcuts or hacks to this. There is no negotiating here. It's either you put in the effort necessary or forget about it. Right. This is only one example of an aspect of your life that will require months, if not years, of extreme effort and dedication to even have a chance of achieving greatness. Take a look at any successful business. They didn't start yesterday. They've been putting in the work for years. Overnight success is a myth. Even if you get lucky and receive some level of success in a short period of time, then you'd lose it just as quickly if you can't maintain it. That is why we have one hit wonders and, and broke lottery winners. They got lucky, but they didn't have the necessary discipline to stay at the top. If you want a chance at success. That's fact. If you want to be a one hit wonder, don't sit there spending like hundreds of thousands of dollars, bro. Like, like this is going to last, man. That's like, just like getting your first hundred dollars or getting your first ten dollars when you were a kid or, or something like that. You went inside that candy store and you burnt it all. Burnt it all. Yeah, 706. Go. Then you'll have
got to get used to the idea of putting in extreme effort daily, feelings and emotions. You may or may not be aware of this, but the world doesn't care about your feelings, especially if you're a man. The world isn't going to stop and comfort you when you're down. It may be tough, but it's just the hard reality of the world we live in. I'm not saying you shouldn't experience or never express emotion, but you shouldn't expect anyone to care. One of the defining characteristics of a man is the fact that we have to regulate our emotions at all times. It's up to you to manage your emotions and keep yourself together. Sometimes you'll have to put your sadness, anxiety or worries aside and move forward with your life. The world isn't going to stop for one man. That's why the philosophy of Stoicism has lasted so long. It teaches you how to regulate your emotions and handle the stress of life in a controlled manner. It's not about feeling nothing. It's about controlling how you feel. It's about controlling how, it's about controlling how you feel. Hey, look, man. First segment, time, very important. We do not have time to waste on this earth. So while we're here, we might as well do the thing that we're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And then here we go with the second segment, comfort. Can't get too comfortable sitting around. My grandmother always told me, don't ever get too comfortable in one place and overstay your welcome. Because before you know it, you'll be out on the street. Uh, the segment was money. You know what I'm saying? Got to be smart with money. Got to be very resourceful with your money. Don't be so quick to go get the newest, hottest thing out, get the newest Jordans, get the, get the newest name brand clothes, because then you look stupid at the end. You ain't got no money. You broke. You can't even pay for things that you really need to pay for. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a big, big thing. Learn how to control your money, and it'll put you in a place, you know, that you've always accepted to be. But the only way you're going to get there is through what? Sacrifice. Last segment was emotions, man. Control your emotions. You know what I mean? If you got your emotions in order and you control your emotions, bro, you will always be focused on what you really need to do. Emotions are unstable. They make you go left and right. When you're focused, you're one straight path and you focus on just that. When you're in your emotions, you're everywhere. So control your emotions and then boom. This is Mo Reacts. It's been a good one. Peace out, y'all. Like, subscribe, and comment below for the next video. Put in the comments. What y'all want to see me react to next? For real. Peace.